Seth, what made you want to start this business when you had a good day job? <laughs> well, out of the 47 mile stretch of trail, this piece of property kind of sat on an island. There was no bridge there, and there was no bridge about an eighth of a mile there. So when those two bridges went in, uh, my business partner Dave uh, and I were having a conversation and thought, you know what, this might be a good, uh, a good place for a little bicycle related business. Uh, it's proximity to the trail, right literally on the trail. Um, so we, uh, you know, got this building and uh, stocked it up with bicycles and ice cream and, uh, and snacks and cold drinks. And with about one year under our belts, we're, uh, we're having a good time with it. What about winter time? Do you have very many visitors? Well, we, we only have one winter under our belt so far. Uh, it, and we were so new at that point, it was hard to, it, I don't know how many people knew about us, but we plan on embracing the uh, cross-country ski community. Um, no matter what the weather, it seems like there's always at least a handful of people on the trail. Um, but, you know, we'll switch from maybe uh, not so many ice creams to, to hot coffees. and. Uh, there are some cross-country skiers? Oh, absolutely. There's, there's a cross-country ski community. They, they zip by here, uh, folks with snowshoes, and uh, people even strap little, uh, little rubber things on their uh, sneakers, and they, they run, even if, it's, uh, even if it's icy or snowy. But, uh, yes. You're not just an ice cream shop, though. Uh, you're also a bike rental. Tell me about that. Oh, absolutely. That's, uh, that's maybe one of the most fun parts about this job is there are folks that come in that haven't been on a bicycle in maybe 20, 30 years, uh, and they come back after spending an afternoon out there, and they're, you know, they're giggling like school kids, uh, because it really, you know, it, it's, it's fun. <laughs> and, uh, and we rent to families, uh, older folks, younger folks, folks from out, out of town, and then everything related to a bike, uh, little trailers so the little kids can ride behind them, uh, tag-alongs, uh, baby carriers, trailers, and of course the tandems, um, and even the little, the little trikes. It's a little something for everybody if they want to get for a ride on the on the trail. And then we also sell bikes, and we repair them, and we offer bicycle storage too. A lot of folks store their bikes here. You, uh, you have a quite a history in this building, don't you? Uh, I don't mean you individually, but it has a lot of history in the uh, coal era. Could you tell me about that? Oh, absolutely. It's, it's a 100-year-old uh, building this year, the old company store for the mine. And uh, it's, uh, it's a building with solid bones, you know, because it was shook by the uh, railroad, the, the railroad uh, for years and years. In fact, on the third floor is a uh, giant wheel uh, that's connected to an elevator shaft and it was uh, powered by mule. So behind you is a, uh, they used to have a pulley and a mule and they would raise and lower the elevator. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, it's, uh, a lot of uh, things have come and gone from, uh, from this building in the, in the last hundred years and hopefully we'll be here for a while. So you've been here a little over a year, you said? Right, yeah, one year uh, last month. What do you look forward to in coming years? Basically, just continuing to uh, to do what we do and uh, and, and grow it slowly uh, and, and grow it organically. People, uh, they it's a, it's a fun line of work because the folks that come here they're here because they want to be here. They're they're spending time with their family on the trail. Uh, they get a hankering for an ice cream or a locally made biscotti, um, and they're they're having a good time with it, which makes this not feel like work. So the the plan is just to keep that going. I saw a sign outside that said yoga classes. Do you also do things like that here? We are just starting to, to dabble with that. Um, there's a, a young lady named Anita that uh, currently teaches yoga at a few different studios. And she's uh, taught yoga classes right out in our courtyard for outdoor yoga when the weather was nice. And, um, and when it's not so nice, she, she teaches yoga right up in the, in the front of the store up there. So we, we block it off, dim the lights, light some candles, and. Uh, and you have yoga up in the front and uh, literally bells and whistles over on this side. Don't you think that there is a connection between uh, and among people who have uh, a desire to be fit and healthy, that diet goes along with that, and uh, uh, mental calmness, that it all seems to fit together? Absolutely. Yep. It's, uh, you have Lifestyle to, change. Exactly. Exactly. And that's, and that's another thing that makes this... Uh, I hate to call it work, but this line of work is so much fun 
is it is. It's people that are bettering themselves. They're uh, they're they're becoming physically active and uh, and they're they're spending time together and they're and it's and it's fun to see see people better themselves. And there's nothing wrong with a little ice cream either. Thank you very much. Thanks, Gordon.